Hello and welcome to Donaldson Clean Solutions webinar number 22, Breathers for Lubricant Reservoirs and Bulk Tank Vents. My name is Nick Rowe and I'm a Regional Sales Engineer for Donaldson. And as I mentioned, today we're going to talk about our trap breather technology for lubricant reservoirs and bulk tank vents. So what are our objectives for today? Firstly, trap breather technology and how it works. Second, where and how to apply trap breathers. And finally, additional considerations to keeping fluids dry, including our RAD system. So trap breather technology and how it works. Before we get started, it's important to understand that 80% of hydraulic failures are due to dirt and water contamination. Now we have several additional webinars posted that deal with hard particulate contamination and applying high efficiency filtration to clean these fluids. But today we'll focus on mitigating water contamination. So water primarily enters tanks and reservoirs in two ways, atmospheric, so rain, snow, fog, and mist, and condensation, temperature fluctuations in the headspace of tanks and reservoirs causes moisture to accumulate on the walls of these tanks and reservoirs and runs down into the fluid. So what does TRAP stand for? TRAP stands for Thermally Reactive Advanced Protection. And here we'll take a look at a TRAP applied to a hydraulic reservoir. As the circuit breathes in air containing moisture vapor and hard particulate, so imagine if you will, a garbage truck picking up a dumpster, hydraulic fluid moves out to the cylinders to do that work. Now the fluid leaving this reservoir is replaced by air. As that air is drawn into the reservoir, the trap breather strips it of moisture and hard particulate down to three microns in size. Moving on to number three, as that fluid comes back to tank and pushes the air back out of the reservoir, that air moves through the trap breather and actually regenerates it pushing the moisture and particulate back out of the breather itself. Here we'll take a look at a trap breather being applied to bulk tank filtration. So same exact technology, just a larger format. Here on the left, we see the bulk tank level decreasing. So you're dispensing fluids into equipment. As that air is drawn into the bulk tank to replace that fluid, it's cleaned by the trap breather, again, stripped of moisture and particulate down to three microns in size. And on the right, we see the tank level increasing. So you get a delivery of fluids and the headspace in that tank shrinks, pushing air back out into the environment and through the trap breather, regenerating the trap breather itself, pushing that moisture and particulate back out of the media. So how is trap different? Here we can see desiccant breather filters. Desiccant breathers pull moisture from the ambient environment around them. Unlike these desiccant filters, trap breathers only filter the air that moves in or out of the tank or reservoir. These desiccant filters can also require frequent change out and trap breathers have a regenerative property as we looked at earlier. Trap breathers also have 10 times the media capacity versus desiccant filters. Here we can see this customer decided to replace their desiccant filter with a trap media technology. Let's now look at some ways we can apply trap breathers to lubricant reservoirs and bulk tank vents. Here we can see our hydraulic trap breather. Hydraulic trap breathers have two connection types, bayonet connection, which is a push and turn. You can see there on the left, and an NPT connection, commonly three quarter inch or one inch connections. There's also two indicator types, electronic LED indicator and mechanical indicator. The electronic LED indicator is activated by turning the trap upside down and pushing on the inside. The LED light will blink three times, letting you know that the trap has been activated and will not blink again until it's ready to be serviced. The mechanical indicator has a highly visible bright red band that shows when restriction is such or reaches the point that it needs to be replaced. Here we wanted to give just a few examples of what reservoir breathers look like and the similar harsh contaminated environments they are subject to. 
And here we can see hydraulic trap breathers being applied to this large hydraulic reservoir. A rule of thumb is for every 100 gallons of hydraulic fluid, one trap breather is needed. So in this case, this is likely between a 500 and 600 gallon reservoir. Here again, we see the trap breather for large bulk storage tanks. Again, same technology, just a larger format. Here on the left, you can see the installation kit along with the breather element itself. So the bottom portion is a stainless steel T with an inch and a half NPT connection to the tank vent, as well as the brass portion, which is an overfill safety check valve. On the right, you can see where the actual element separates from the installation kit from the stainless steel T for servicing. So the black and blue portion would be your replacement element. So what does the typical application look like for large storage tank trap breathers? Here on the left, we could see some pretty common tank vents for bulk storage tanks. Now these are elbowed over, as you can see here on the left, but usually that's not even the case. They're just open to the environment, allowing in hard particulate and moisture. From time to time, you'll see some screens possibly on these, but that's really it. And here on the right, we could see this customer decided to install our trap breather technology for their bulk tank vents. Again, here are some examples of what bulk storage tank vents might look like. They come in all shapes and sizes. Here on the left, we could see this underground tank. The vents are right next to the dispensing pump. Here in the middle, we can see these very large bulk storage tanks and they're elbowed over again in this middle photo. And here on the right, we can see the trap breather installed on a 20,000 gallon bulk fuel storage tank. Trap breather considerations. What information do you need to make sure that you have sized your trap breather correctly? So essentially what you're looking for is the tank data plate. So the tank engineering data plate will give you information such as the max tank inflow, outflow, vacuum, and pressure rating. It's important to note that it's not just the tank size, so what volume of fluid that tank can actually hold that is needed to size this correctly. And if you have any questions regarding specific geography or local codes, please reach out to Donaldson for additional information. Let's now discuss some additional considerations when trying to keep your fluids clean and dry including adding a reservoir air drying system. Reservoir air dryer, or RAD for short. Adding a RAD system purges clean, dry air over the headspace of tanks to create a slight positive pressure in this headspace. The RAD system requires 100 PSI of shop air to operate. Let's take a look at applying these two technologies to a bulk tank or a hydraulic reservoir. In this instance, we'll take a look at a bulk tank. As we spoke about earlier, as the level of fluid decreases, the tank will draw in air. The air in that headspace with temperature fluctuations will begin to accumulate moisture on the walls of the tank and run down into the fluid. This will eventually settle to the bottom of the tank. If you've ever had your bulk tank tested and a sample drawn from the bottom, this is why a large portion of those samples will contain large amounts of water. Here on the right, we can see the bulk tank with trap breather technology installed, along with a RAD system. Now, as that level decreases and the tank draws in air from the outside environment, it's protected from moisture and particulate from ever, ever entering the headspace along with clean, dry air being purged over that headspace. What will actually begin to happen is moisture will begin to be drawn out of the actual fluid itself into the air. So it will try to reach equilibrium, and since you have such clean, dry air above it, it will begin to pull moisture out of that fluid. Again, reviewing our objectives for today, it was trap breather technology and how it works, where and how to apply trap breathers to hydraulic reservoirs 
and bulk tank vents, and also additional considerations to keeping fluids dry, including our RAD system. Thank you again for joining us for Donaldson Clean Solutions webinar number 22, Applying Trap Breather Technology to Hydraulic Reservoirs and Bulk Tank Vents. We certainly hope you enjoyed and found our presentation informative.